friends. My name is Lena Leontieva. I am a PhD in history and I teach uh, Buddhism, its history and philosophy and practice in many Buddhist centers uh, in the world. Um, I wrote a book, <laughs> that's why I'm sitting here. Uh, together with Marzena Poplavska from Warsaw, I wrote a book which is called now Namtar. And uh, it's a bigger project than only a book. Mm, it is about basically about the development of Buddhism from the very beginning, 2,500 years ago until today. Okay, the story started when, um, actually from the very beginning, when I take refuge with Lama Ole Nito from Denmark. Uh, it was in 1992. And then uh, very soon uh, Buddhism became not just part of my life, but I think the whole life and the meaning of my life and, <laughs> you know, Right now, Buddhism, in, uh, Buddhism is experiencing um, a very interesting time. It is coming from one culture to the other culture. It is coming from the East uh, to the Western world, to the European culture. And, um, you know, it's, on the one hand, it's very interesting in itself. And uh, it has experienced such periods before. And one of these periods was the subject of my um, PhD thesis. Yeah? And when I developed, when I, when I defended my thesis, I went to Lama Ole to report because it was his idea that I do it. And uh, I reported and then he said, okay, you should transform your thesis into a book and uh, make sure that it is translated. So that was his literal um, speech, right? And um, I started then, I, st I was thinking for a couple of years how I can make a book, an interesting book, out of a thesis which is completely unreadable, I think. I cannot re read it myself. And then I had the idea that um, I, will, I will produce a hero, a character. Uh, so it will be a fabulous book, a fiction book. And uh, this character will have a love story which will last for some lifetimes. And uh, that the hero will be the wi a witness of um, the major key points, key events in the development of Buddhism. And I, what I wanted to do was, on the one hand, uh, show that the, this Buddhism we have today in our centers, in our karma culture and also other schools, um, the modern Buddhism is completely the same from the point of view of the theory and practice um, the same as that Buddhism at the beginning when the Buddha Shakyamuni was teaching in India. And on the other hand, what I wanted to do uh, was to, uh, to, how to say, to, in, to integrate, I think, Buddhism into the culture or to help the integrating Buddhism into the culture because uh, when it comes to the West, uh, for some time it stays just a philosophy, as it was 200 years ago. Uh, now we don't only have philosophy, we also have practice. Uh, so now Buddhism is uh, like more complete. And uh, then it is also the way of life. And uh, it should be, I think, also part of culture, part of the folklore, I don't know part of theater, part of cinema, part of literature, also fiction literature. And that's what I'm actually doing.